said that was a sexy shot. Hello everyone, we're back with Good Thing, Bad Thing, which we've managed to do for two weeks in a row. On time At Dan. last. Good job, boss. We weren't on time last time, but this time we are. I don't. We weren't? Well, I think we filmed it on Sunday and then I didn't get out until like Monday. Ah. Uh, or maybe even Tuesday. I had a lot see. to do. So. Indeed. Adam. Yes. What is your good thing? So, my good thing is food related. And we had, I made a breakfast this morning and I had very nummy potatoes. Very good potatoes. And with it, I, I paired my sake, which went very well, and it is finally done. And also, in addition that's to like. The wrong, that's not a label, <laughs> that's an old label. Anyways, I'm getting into it. In addition, one of the things I was excited about my sake is I collected these bottles a long time ago from drinking, they are like random. They're kind of they're kind of like uh, lemonades, bottles of lemonades of a specific brand from Aldi's, and they have these beautiful resealable caps that are like perfect for brewing of different types. And so now finally, I have my my repurposed bottles of being used for sake, and my first batch is finally done, and it turned out well. I've really enjoyed it. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go through all the nigori sake myself, but I do have a few friends who are it's interested in trying it out. I got about three gallons worth. I got and like I don't 14 drink, bottles so... of these things, and I'm and I'm I'm not an alcoholic. I just like making stuff. So uh, <laughs> fortunately, I've got a couple volunteers on the interwebs. I will I will track them down and find homes for my bottles. And uh, so yeah, so the nummy food this morning that paired well with my sake, uh, and the whole sake sake process coming to a successful conclusion. The sake experience. Yes. There were several times where it almost didn't come to a successful conclusion, but managed <laughs> to pull it, it out. When it exploded in the basement. And then it exploded in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> my good thing, for my good thing, is pretty easy. All you have to do is watch the short little video that I posted talking about my ride with my horse, Mouse. I almost said Mouse Horse. <laughs> That's what I get for naming my horse after another animal. <laughs> mouse horse. Yep. Anyway, I had a good ride. You can listen all about it on a video that I posted yesterday, I think. It's really short to just like find out how that ride went, but it was it was good. The whole thing wasn't good, but there's a certain part that was really good. All right, Adam, what's your bad thing? What is my bad thing? Hmm. That's what I ask. My hair. Hmm. My hair is always a disaster because I never do anything with it on Sunday. All right, this is my bad thing, and it is really me just being whiny and needy more than anything else. I have been drooling over Starlink satellite internet service for five years now. Yeah. And it is finally out in its closed beta and getting grave reviews, helping out with the wildfires in the West and stuff, and I am, I, I like, when, when are they going to email me saying the open beta is opened and that I qualify or not to get, get their service? I, I need, I've been waiting for five years, don't they know? I need to know! Send me the invite! <laughs> Anybody who pays attention to this channel knows how shitty our internet is, so... They might be delayed because they're dedicating more of their capacity to help out in support of the firefighters out west. And there are many reasons why I should just be here and sit quietly and patiently, but... I'm so close, the internet is up and working, I'm registered for their open beta, and nothing. We don't even live that far from town. It was just decided clandestinely by the internet companies that it would not get them enough money to have internet, good internet come out here, so. And we are about a mile too far, I think less, for it to be legally required for them to provide internet to us. So, yeah. And I am fearful that we are like 0. 0.0001 degrees latitude too far south to g get it. And and I'm like, could you just email me and tell me I'm out of range so I can like stop getting my hopes up and know I have to wait another two years? Okay, so yeah, that's that's the bad thing. Um, my bad thing, I know we don't, we try to not talk too much about the, the world's problems that are going on right now because like we try to keep it more focused on like personal personal but i feel like it's becoming kind of personal because in in our state of wisconsin we Yay. are doing a absolutely shit job of controlling the virus like florida levels no offense florida <laughs> no we beat out we've beaten out florida now. we are 
We are very extra. <clears throat> Told our governor that he's not allowed to do anything about it, and then the people who are supposed to be doing something about it haven't done anything about it. So we basically have no rules. We have suggestions. Nobody follows them because we have learned that human beings, when given the opportunity to do something selfless, will instead choose selfish. So that's where we're at. People are going out to bars. Nobody likes to wear masks around here. Multiple tenants I clean apartment buildings, multiple tenants in the apartment buildings that I clean have it and others probably have it but haven't told us because they're not required to tell us, some just have. And it's not great and multiple friends of mine have had to be quarantined because they've been exposed and they have to wait for a test and it's just like... We are a rural state with a spread out and a dispersed population, and yet we cannot manage to have an adequate response and instead decided to be number one in per capita COVID spread. We just went full Woo! lawless, there are no rules, do whatever the fuck you want, and here we are. We fucked around and found out, and still nobody cares. So it's just a matter of time, really, until these these good thing bad things turn into the COVID report. I mean like you and me both have COVID and we have oh. to tell people about oh. it. <laughs> I'm trying not to get it but it, it is statistically probable. There is no better place in the nation and maybe not even in the world to have, the, have a good chance of catching COVID from the next person you meet. I'll probably get it before he does because his at his job he's very like isolated in his cube and, and then he'll give pretty it to safe. Me. But yeah, if one of us gets it, the other one is screwed. No two I'll ways just about make it. You live out in the corn crib. <laughs> yes, great. <laughs> Can I at least live in the round bin. There's a roof on that. <laughs> there's roofs on part of the corn crib. No, there's not. <laughs> all right, all right. You can live in the round bin. All right. So that's my bad thing. I'm pretty mad about it. Oh, hey, unrelated, uh, we're using my new camera again, trying to figure out all the features and stuff, and also I have a new mic on top of this camera. So Because this camera can actually connect to mics. Yeah, I bought a mic a while ago for my old camera, and it didn't connect to it, so I was like, shit. Even though I thought it would, I guess my research was slightly wrong. But this one does, so let us know what you think of the sound quality. I'm learning things. I'm expanding like a hot air balloon on <laughs> where that was going. All right, Adam, are you ready for the goodbye? I'm ready for our goodbye. Three, two, one. Bye. Bye.